Hey guys, this is Ryan from Infinite Digital. Welcome to my second channel. This is where I'll be posting some tutorials and how to use stuff like 3ds Max, Sony Vegas, and After Effects. So today we're going to be going over how to use Rayfire in 3ds Max. So we're going to create our plane. This is going to be the floor for our animation. Set this to white. And then we're just going to show you how to add physics. To say that the ball will drop and it will bounce or something, a roll. So what we're gonna do is select the ball, ray fire tool, well you don't really have to select the ball, open the ray fire tool. And then we're gonna go ahead and click simulation impact objects, select the ball, and click add. Then we're gonna click the plane, go over to physics, and go to unyielding objects. Now unyielding objects means objects that won't move or do anything they will just be there, they won't be affected by anything in the animation. So we're going to click this, oh, click add for the plane, come to here to simulation geometry, and then set that to concave mesh. It will originally be set to convex mesh, so we're going to set it to concave. Then after that, we're going to go ahead, come up here, and I think what we do now is create animation and then it's gonna fall to the ground like the ball should and then it doesn't really look interesting it great physics so we're going to tilt the plane so that the ball will fall off and roll this is just to show something like that and it falls off and that's technically how you add physics to a object in 3ds max rolls and falls off. Now we're going to go ahead and then we're going to place this back to its original state. Then we're going to go ahead and select the ball. We're going to come down to I think ray explosion and then we're going to go to demolition options. And then we're going to click Simulate Demolition. This is going to make the fall, ball fall and break as it hits the ground. There it goes. And that's the animation. Now it's going to go to where it hits the ground and it's going to fragment the ball. So it has fragmentation. And then it's going to go ahead and animate the ball breaking. And I'll be back once it finishes this process. Okay. Okay, Rayfire has finished rendering out the animation, and then this is what it'll look like once you're done. The ball fall, and then break as it hits the ground. And that's how you make basic demolition, like say they want like a ceiling tile to fall, you model up the ceiling tile, and then you go ahead, raise it above the ground, and have it fall, and it breaks. And then you just put that into like After Effects and Composite and all that crap. And then... Now we're going to show you how to do like something flying into a wall and destroying. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new file. We're going to go ahead and go back and make our regular plane. Let's draw it out. Make it white. It's easier to look at. And then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to take the box tool. And then we're going to build up a little tiny wall set that to gray. Take a sphere. We're going to make the ball fly through the wall and break it. Make it red. And then we're going to raise it up. Match it up where I want it to hit it. And then see they all go through there. So let's an so that now we're going to, instead of adding physics to this ball, we're going to animate it. So click auto key and go to say 50 frames. And then we're going to click and drag the ball through the wall. That's how you animate something. Else. Now once you've animated the ball to go through, it's not going to break the wall automatically. So we're going to bring back up Rayfire, go to Simulation tab, click on the wall, and add it to Impact Object. Now we're going to go to the Ray Explosion tab. By the way, I'm using Rayfire tool 1.43. It's still basically the same thing. Then we're going to go over to the fragmentation options and set this to 35 fragments. That's just what I'm going to make it. That's going to be how many fragmentations and objects are going to be falling through the wall. 35 objects. Now I'm going to go ahead and click fragmentation impact objects. 
and it's fragmentating the wall. And then we're gonna go, once it's done fragmentating, to here. And we're gonna just add the ball to unyielding objects and the plane to unyielding objects. Then go down here to inactive objects. And we're going to select the wall, hold control and, de and click on the plane to deselect it. So the only thing that we have are the parts to the wall. We're gonna click it to inactive objects. Then we're also gonna have this set to concave for unyielding objects. It, it, it's always going to be set to convex when you open Rayfrax, so set it to concave under the unyielding objects tab. Now we're going to go up to the physical options, and then we're going to click create animation. And it's going to animate the ball flying, and it's going to hit the wall, and the wall's going to fall down and collapse and break. As so. Once you're done, it should look a little something like this. And that's basically the basics of Ray Fragile. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe to my main channel, Infinite Digital, and this channel. More videos will be coming up soon. Thank you. In every